I usually pre pull my hair every um, wash day or the night before. I pre pull using coconut oil, and usually my hair is very soft. So I'm just taking the wrap strip that I put to prevent the oil from spilling, or if any oil comes down, it will catch it. Then I finger detangle. My hair is usually very, very soft um, because the heat from the shower cap keeps it, you know, moist. I finger detangle to remove any shed hairs and just kind of, you know, work the section through using my fingers to take out any knots and um, tangles. And I continue doing that. As you can see, there's a knot. The fingers are pretty good at finding and removing knots. So I usually use my fingers first and that's a good way to, you know, detangle your hair by just using your fingers. I also use my fingers, the, the pads of my fingers to um, massage my scalp and to just, you know, help remove any kind of dirt that might be there. I use my fingers for that and I twist the section up and I move on to the next section. I continue doing that all over my head until all the sections are finger detangled. Next, I wash my hair. I rinse my hair with warm water. So you're just seeing my hair after it has been rinsed with warm water. And warm water is to help open up your cuticles and to just kind of remove some of the initial um, dirt that might be in your hair. So this is my hair after it has been just rinsed with warm water. Then I proceed to co-wash. I'm using the Petal Fresh Organics Rosemary Shampoo and the Shea Moisture Restorative Shampoo Conditioner. Sorry, I usually like um, the Shea Moisture is good, but it doesn't have a lot of slip. So I decided I was going to use the Rosemary Shampoo. So I take a little bit in my hand and I apply it to my hair. Notice I'm not putting any conditioner on my scalp because I'm just trying to clean my hair. I'm using the pads of my finger to kind of scrub my scalp a little bit but I'm not putting globs of conditioner on my scalp. And I just work the conditioner through. Actually, um, then I separate the sections and Actually, I'm, I, I didn't like the way that conditioner felt on my hair, so I went back afterwards and added some um, Giovanni Deeper Moisture Conditioner. Then I take my full Denman brush, which is, uh, it's kind of like a Denman brush, but it's a knockoff and that I got from the beauty supply store, and I began begin to detangle my hair. See right there, there's a knot, and I use my fingers to take that one out. And then I'll take the brush and continue to detangle my hair. It works pretty well for me. I've never used a real Denman. I also have a tangle teaser that I use mainly after I've used my full Denman brush. I usually use a tangle teaser to kind of go through and give um, a final detangle. Or sometimes I use it in styling to help me distribute the product. It works really well for that. So when I'm finished with the section, I this is me. I was adding some um, Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner because for some reason that rosemary conditioner didn't make my hair feel very moisturized. I usually I've used the tea tree and the lemongrass one, and they worked pretty well. I like them, but I was the first time I was using the uh, rosemary one, so. I went back and I added in some Shea Moisture Conditioner. So I continue doing that, adding conditioner to the section, to the hair and um, rubbing it in and then using my fingers to rub my scalp and detangle with my fingers first again to remove any knots and then I go in with the brush and repeat the section repeat it all over. So this is a Giovanni that I was telling you about. I went back and added in some of that and see how easily my hair was being detangled once I added the um, Giovanni. There was a slight knot that I was feeling as you can see it was the brush was not going through so if you feel your brush is snagging 
stop and remove the knot. And once I removed the knot, it went through pretty easily. I continue to just add conditioner and twist the section up as I do. So this is after the conditioner has been rinsed out. I rinsed it out with cold water. And I'm now going to do a deep condition. I'm using the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask and I'm also adding in some Giovanni and the Deep Treatment Mask. But it works well if you add oils to it. It doesn't have much slip, so that's why I like the Deep Treatment Mask. So I'm adding in some olive oil, some castor oil that I got from Walmart that's almost done. I'm trying to finish it up. And I apply the deep treatment to my hair section by section. Again, I just undo the twists and I add the deep treatment. As you can see, it's um, my hair is pretty detangled. So I just work the deep treatment through my hair and then I twist the section up and I move on to the next section. Then I put a plastic cap on my hair to give it some body heat. I keep it on usually for about about two hours. And I also add this uh, heat cap. It's called. I got it from Walmart. This is after I've washed the conditioner out, the deep treatment out. I washed it with cool water, and I also did an apple cider vinegar rinse that I added some rosemary and ginger tea. Too. and I really like the way it made my hair feel. 